A lot going on at the station right here. Uh, we're basically showcasing two of our instruments. We have a real-time scope on the right-hand side running at uh, 112 gigabaud. The, uh, that's 224 gigabits per second. And then we have the same signal coming into our DCA here over on the left. So these are two instruments that are sort of the cornerstone of our transmitter compliance and conformance efforts. When people try to verify that they're signaling to within spec limits, you need to choose one of these instruments here to serve your, your signal acquisition and your analysis needs. Up on the screen here, we have a list of the sort of jitter conformal measurements that get done. These are for the OIF CEI specification. And we have the exact same measurement set, but with some slight modifications for the IEEE uh, conformance as well. There's 802.3 CK and OIF CEI 112 gig VSR MR LR. All these standards are supported with automated test tools. But a lot of people want to use the same instruments to do research for the next speed grade. And that's really what we're showcasing here on top of the basic conformance test tools is the ability to do some of the analysis and jitter characterization that's necessary for 200 gigabits per second. Up on the screen here, you see a 12 s jitter decomposition. We're showcasing some of our uh, special jitter decomposition that we have that now allows for separation of the uh, level one and level two transitions, which has recently emerged in the recent spec revisions. Down here at the, uh, in the center of this pedestal, we're driving all this with uh, M8199A AWG, it's an arbitrary waveform generator. It's actually running two heads here, one to the right, which is running the real-time scope, and one to the left, which is synchronously driving the DCA. The DCA is actually receiving the signals through these 120 gigahertz remote heads we have. They're very handy and popular remote heads for these sorts of applications. It gets you the bandwidth and the noise fidelity you need where you need it close to your device under test. Really a revolutionary product here and is doing a lot to serve the, the emerging market needs around 200 gigabits per second. It's really a key enabler. The real-time scope on the right-hand side, again, is also a key enabler. It's our air detector of choice. It's an instrument that we'll be using going forward for doing our air detection at these speeds. You have to be able to receive a signal. You have to recover the clock. You've got to equalize it, provide reference equalization, and then you need to do an air evaluation of that signal. The real-time scope is naturally great at doing this sort of thing. And uh, it's one of our go-to platforms for this next speed grade that people will be embracing here with both IEEE 802.3DF as well as the emerging OIF CEI 224 gig specifications, which have been already projects have been started there. We're doing a uh, Keysight uh, education forum track on this here on, on Thursday. So we invite people to attend that to learn more about both these instruments and the technology and the measurement science behind the emerging 224 gigabit per second rollout.